Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to talk about my experience with the Raspberry Pi 5 real briefly and uh, the Raspberry Pi 4. And the only reason I went and picked up a Raspberry Pi 5 was because I had the 4, and the 4 was never quite good enough to really do what I wanted to do and have it behave kind of like a desktop, something like that. Uh, really not powerful enough at four meg, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, and then um, the 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card was fine, but it didn't really work so well. So I thought I'd go over to Micro Center, and I thought I would purchase one. So this is what I purchased, and I decided after getting it, what you what you realize is that you have to buy a whole lot more than just the Pi itself. Uh, you can, what they tell you uh, at the store, and this isn't Micro Center's fault, I, I think of this as uh, the Raspberry Pi people's fault. Uh, uh, they told me, well, you could use the old power supply that you used on the 4. And you can, but it it's not enough power to to really do anything with peripherals or anything like that. Bottom line is you pay $79.99 for a Raspberry Pi 5, which on its face sounds okay. And it sounds like, well, you can make this work, um, you know. But what they don't tell you is you're going to need a power supply that's not supplied with it. You're going to have to get something that's... Uh, 5 volt, 5 amp, instead of what your old Pi 4 had, which was 5 volt, 3 amp. It's not going to run your peripherals or anything like that. And so you will have to, to get a Pi 5, you'll have to spend about $60 more in peripheral stuff, uh, including the, the power supply, a case, because you'll probably want a case, and uh, a couple of other things too. Um, and I mean, I just quit in, immediately. As soon as I found this out, I went and took the Raspberry Pi 5 back. And I said, I said to the guy as I was returning it, I said, you know what they don't tell you is you have to have a whole lot of other things. He goes, oh yeah. You know, it wasn't very well thought out. You know, you could buy a whole kit and spend about $140 on it, which would give you everything. But the problem with that is it's $140. Bucks. You might as well buy a cheap PC or something that is like a mini PC. You could buy a cheap one. Or you could even buy a really super cheap laptop at that point and have much more functionality than a Pi 5 would get you. So I returned it and really ticked me off. It just really made me upset that, you know, they would push this off as the next great thing, but then not give you anything with it. I think when I bought the four, I think I paid $99, and that was for the whole kit. It came as a, a canna kit or cana kit, whatever, uh, and it had, you know, everything you needed. And Bottom line is, this ticked me off so bad, is I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna play around with this Pi anymore again. So, if any of you are out there, and you want a Raspberry Pi four with four gigabytes, thirty-two gig, uh, with the operating system on it, I'll send it to you. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, what I'll do in the next month is, you know, pull a name out of a hat, so to speak, and uh, uh, I'll just send the Pi, Pi 4 to you if you want it. It just ticked me off so bad. You know, one of the things about the, the Pi 4 that was so great was the fact that I discovered that it could run Linux, uh, and it started my whole Linux journey, so it made a lot of sense, but uh, it was kind of this eye-opening moment, but, you know... It, it it's not useful to me or anything. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. 
I'm going to pick out one lucky winner, and you can have my Raspberry Pi 4. Because I'm not going to play around with pies anymore. If this is what it is, uh, you know, it's not what I'm really into, uh, what I'm interested in. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to give it away. So uh, it served its purpose for me in that it, uh, it opened my eyes to what Linux can do. Really, that's its purpose for me. And that's really all that mattered. Um, so anyway, the, the Pi 5, never going to do it. Uh, never going to play around with it. Uh, you know, I just buy a cheap PC if I wanted to do something. Uh, but this also gets into something else that I'm going to be doing. Uh, a long time ago, well, maybe not a long time ago, maybe about a year ago, I said, well, I'm going to try every Linux operating system there is and going down the list in DistroWatch and, uh, you know, check them all out. And I had a mini PC that I was going to do that on, and it didn't really work. So I decided just to do it on a secondary drive on this computer, and I'm going to do it that way. I am going to go through all the distributions. I am going to kind of casually talk about them with the average user like to use something like this. And I guess that's what I'm going to go on. And would the average person like me who uses it as a daily driver, are they going to want to, you know, use it? So I'm going to be starting with MX Linux. And I think I'm going to go through all the different uh, versions of it. Uh, start with XFCE, which they say is their flagship. And then I'm also going to um, try Fluxbox. I don't think I'm going to do the KDE because KDE, well, whatever. MX Linux is going to be my first stop on this. And I'll just be doing these videos uh, within the operating system itself. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, simple as that. Um, so one at a time, I'm going to go through them all. And I mean all of them. <laughs> um, just because I'm curious about them all. Uh, and technically, I probably never run out of reviews to do because by the time I get through all of them, I'll have to start all over again. Uh, but I already put MX Linux on this machine on a different drive. And, you know, it's really nice. But I'm going to do a full thing on that. In the meantime, I'm ditching all the pie stuff. So this is your chance. Subscribe to my channel, and I will send this uh, to one lucky winner. <laughs> maybe maybe lucky, maybe not. But I'm not going to mess around with pies anymore. So I'll send you the power supply, the pie, and uh, the HDMI cable that goes with it. So you'll have everything that you need, and you can play around with it if you want. One person. That's all, but only to one subscriber. So uh, that's really it for today. Um, so keep an eye out for these videos that I'm going to do on each individual distribution. And uh, we'll see if the kind of average person like me would think this is a good idea or not. You know, who knows? But uh, I guess that's it. Anyway, you have a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.